Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about new browser APIs that every web developer should know about. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. All right, let's start with Custom Events API. The browser's JavaScript execution environment is single-threaded, but the browser-related processing is multi-threaded. So the browser emits event to the JavaScript's event queue to let JavaScript help developers do asynchronous non-blocking development, DOM event bubbling and propagation features help developers build better interaction for web interfaces. Most web APIs use some predefined names that is on click, on key down, etc. for DOM events, but the browser event system also supports custom events. The custom events API offers a way to use browser events for general purpose use cases by allowing developers to attach data payloads to events that you can programmatically trigger. It comes with a very concise API. For example, you can dispatch a new custom event as here. Subscribing to a custom event and accessing the event payload is also so easy. Moreover, you can make these custom events cancelable and bubble able with DOM elements as predefined DOM events using custom events as a global event handling solution in undoubtedly a great use case. Okay now, using the inbuilt sanitizer API. We typically render dynamic HTML via templates in MVC-like front-end frameworks by changing template variables. If you don't use any front-end framework, you may use the inner tax DOM property to render dynamic data in HTML. In both scenarios, you will eventually get an unrendered HTML string if you try to use HTML code in a template variable. But in some scenarios, we need to render HTML code we store in the JavaScript variables. Rendering HTML code directly from a JavaScript string is a well-known vulnerability. For example, the website that uses the, this snippet becomes vulnerable if the server gets hacked. If the server sends some malicious JavaScript code, doc area will execute them as usual. The sanitization concept helps developers remove script like unsafe tags and make HTML string safe for rendering on DOM. So here's an example. Some front-end frameworks do sanitization automatically, but some aren't. As a result, sanitization libraries become so popular. Now, the web standard implements an experimental inbuilt sanitization API in modern web browsers. It lets you sanitize DOM nodes in a performance-first way rather than reparsing HTML strings. So here's an example. All right, DOM manipulation and traversal API shortcuts. If you have more than 10 years of experience in web development, you undoubtedly know the past jQuery era. We made dynamic web apps with jQuery and Ajax by manually updating the DOM. Almost all developers now use popular front-end libraries that update DOM automatically when they change the app state. But some web developers still use the minimal manual DOM manipulation approach. In some scenarios, manual DOM manipulation is inevitable. In the past, we used jQuery for DOM manipulation and traversal since the inbuilt DOM API was somewhat verbose. But now we have more productive features in the inbuilt DOM API that can even replace jQuery. So let's check some examples. So manipulating CSS class name is so easy now and here. Selecting DOM elements based on a selector is an easy way as with jQuery. Look here the example. Document.query selector all. Querying hyperlinks in a web document doesn't require query selectors. You can use a pre-initialized property as here. The DOM related methods are also available in standard browser and offer the same productivity that jQuery offers. So here's example. Okay now, helpful events for modern app. As a helpful developer friendly 
web development environment, the browser emits so many helpful JavaScript events for developers, so they can use them to implement modern web apps with better productivity features. Let's learn some browser events that help develop modern apps. It's a good practice to avoid pulling heavy processing or playing media when the specific tab that holds your app is inactive. Also, it's great to welcome users when they click on an inactive browser tab after a few minutes. The Page Visibility API helps you to implement these features by notifying visibility state changes. So here's an example. The productive and helpful new experimental scroll and even helps to implement futuristic features like infinite scroll without even if base boundary checks. So here's an example. Also, now you don't need to use an old-fashioned Ajax polling to detect network online or offline status. New inbuilt network-related events can find internet connection status as shown in this code. Here's an example. Also, modern standard browsers support adding listeners for clipboard events, window resizing, device orientation change, etc to help web developers improve their app's usability. Ok now, WebAssembly and Worker APIs for the modern web. Earlier, every web app typically ran on a single JavaScript based thread with several source scripts. That development approach was good enough for every web app since they can run CPU intensive workload on their server side. But web development teams now strive to use client-side computation power to decrease network latency related issues and reduce server workload. Now you can run C, Rust, Go, Python and Zig programs on the browser by compiling them as a WebAssembly programs. This lets you run your existing server-side logic on the client side without even rewriting them in JavaScript. Consider this following Zig function in the add.zig file. You can generate a WASM file here by using this command. Finally, it is possible to call the command and export zig function from a JavaScript as follows here. On the other hand, the web worker concept helps web developers to run CPU intensive code in a separate JavaScript execution instance without blocking the main render thread. So here's an example. This approach lets you move a server side task to the client side without affecting the app UI performance. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned these new browser APIs that help you generate performance and usability in the modern web apps. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.